Hey everyone. My husband put in new lights and boy is it bright in here. But anyway, um, so yeah, I was explaining to you how I had, I, I already wanted to do a black series and I just, I don't know, I just fell asleep and dreamt of aqua and black and I know it's silly, but um, I don't know, I just did it and I tried it and I used the base. I'm going to use my 120 palette. This is uh, from Silly Farms. I think it's Nazaru. It's a turquoise. Um, I use that as my base. And um, and then I just put my NYX uh, uh, ESBO2 uh, for the highlight area um, for the base there as well. And um, I'm going to take this. There's like all different 120 colors. I decided to go with this aqua for the Wait. color. So this is like an aqua-y, teal -y and black. And I'm just putting that on top of the base that I put. As usual, ton of fallout. What else is new with me? <laughs> Always getting a ton of fallout here. Um, now I'm going to take uh, my smoky brush from uh, if you want a, a really really cheap alternative to max uh, what is it like I don't know what it is though their goat hair brush low Cornell uh, Maxine's mop 3 8 inch a quarter of the price and it's the same exact thing okay so I'm taking in my 120 palette this um it's a frost, a black frost right here. It's the third color in. I'm gonna use that. It's got like shimmers in there. And I'm gonna put that. So I use a matte for the lid, and I'm using a um it's like a black with silver shimmer. So, not exactly a gunmetal gray, but I just felt it came out softer than just a matte black. And then just gonna, you know, swish it back and forth, windshield wiper motion, as they say. And just put that there. And I'm just gonna take the, um, the white. It would probably look even nicer if you used a white with a turquoise duochrome on top. But I just wanted to make it simple and just reach for what I had in front of me. the part of my I guess my black series like I said I know it's crazy I know it's been done before but it just I don't know just dreamt it tried it liked it I know weird <laughs> I know I'm weird <laughs> and then um, that's it I'm just gonna wear a regular uh, eyeliner mascara and finish my makeup and I'll be right back hey everyone so that's the finished look um I um at the last minute I realized uh, I had this beautiful aqua glitter liner again this is from the NYX uh, crystal liquid liners they're just so glittery um and so I decided to, I put black liquid liner on top and on the bottom. And I tried to put this on the bottom, but because of my allergies, they really irritated my eyes. So um, I'm sure that Urban Decay has something similar. But I just used my teal flash from my Revlon collection. 
uh, it's a um, high dimension and HD like chrome, chrome um, pencil uh, so I just put that on the bottom and then I put this on top of the black line so I don't know if the light is picking up all the shimmers and whatnot um, I put this on top of that uh, liner then again I use my winter rose blush since I am using um, well I'm using this turquoise -y. Um, this is from Mary Kay. It's Velocity. Um, again, I have a lot of my stuff is limited edition. So a few years ago, they had this um, just a like a turquoisey shimmer lip gloss. Uh, one is a little darker, one's a little lighter. So I just put that on my lips. You know, you could put it over a nude lip color. I don't personally don't like nude. Um, I was thinking of putting uh, a corally lipstick, which I love corals with teals. Love, love, love. Um, so you could do that. Oh, and then, you know, then I just did this. Um, so I just wanted to try it out over just my, you know, regular lip. My lips are very pigmented and I prefer it that way than the nude. But, you know, so that's all I did. Um, so yeah, um, like I was saying, uh, the numbers rub off, but I believe there's a 222. I got this uh, from Coastal Scents. I know their shipping can be expensive, but I usually like go for the cheapest shipping, like first class or something. Um, and it, you know, those Mac brushes are really expensive. And I've noticed that there's a lot of these high end brushes that the lower end cosmetics companies have the same thing for like half the price if not cheaper so again i don't remember the number for this one uh but this is a maxine's mop um three eighths inch um low cornell it's an oval goat hair brush i think these are like four dollars and like i think they're like twenty dollars from mac and same thing with this i uh, just wanted to uh, talk to you about this for a few seconds because this i find if you want the lightest application of a contour this is the best but also if you want to smooth it out like let's say you just want to soften it a little bit after you've applied your makeup you just put do this it helps to blend it in and it softens it out so this is the c200 deluxe crease brush from coastal sense um so you know just just suggestions this softens out that crease color blends it into the highlight color so just a little tip. Um, again, these are uh, this crystal aqua liner. Still, I'm not sure why. Still not available from NYX. Um, I know they just recently got some stuff in. Um, so I follow them on Twitter, on Facebook. They give you codes. Um, so I wait till like like uh, Black Friday. They have 50% off. Recently, we just had free shipping, and that shipping is ridiculous. It's something like $15 for shipping. The cheapest shipping is ten dollars, even if you just buy one item. So, follow them on Twitter, Nick. Follow them on Facebook, and you'll get all the um, all these codes and stuff for discounts. But uh, yeah, I did find these on eBay and online sellers still have them. Um, yeah, I'm not sure why they haven't gotten them in stock yet, but I do know that they just recently uh, filled up stock. Um. um so yeah. <clears throat> so um. Just want to tell you that's what I used. Um, my next um, next week, I, I, I like I said, I, I'm doing kind of a black series, not continuously, like intermittently with other things. So next week, another thing I've been dying to do, uh, I saw X Barkage do it, and I've just been dying to do it. And so this year for Valentine's Day, I'm gonna be doing um, like a bubblegum pink. Uh, or I was going to do a hot pink, but I just found that a little too dark. I didn't like it um, as much. So I'm going to do like a bubblegum pink and black next week. That's for a Valentine's Day look. And I'm doing a collab. Um, Bam Pajama asked me to do a collab with her for nail. So um, we're going to come up with one or, uh, you know, well, me and her between the two of us, two, at least two um, nail, uh, Valentine's Day nail um, tutorials. Um, so, Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, I think that's it. Um, so I will see you next week with my um, with my Valentine's Day um, bubblegum pink and black tutorial. Um, okay. Mwah.